Hey everybody, so we've got a signing to talk about and it's a pretty big one. The Calgary Flames have re-signed defenseman Noah Hannafin to a six-year deal worth $4.95 million per year. Um, Hannafin was obviously part of the trade with Carolina involving Dougie Hamilton, Michael Furland, and then Hannafin and Elias Lindholm going to Calgary. Um, Hannafin's an interesting guy and this is an interesting contract. Um, so Hannafin was taken fifth overall and was the first defenseman taken in the 2015 draft. He's only 21 years old. He has obviously a lot of room to grow and uh, a lot of developing to do, and he could develop into an elite defenseman. However, he's just signed a long-term deal, six years, at under five million dollars per year. Just under five million, but under five million dollars per year. Hannafin, I don't think to this point, has been the player that people expected him to be. He's, he was the top rated defenseman in the draft. He was taken fifth overall. And when you're drafting that high, you want superstars. Noah Hannafin is not a superstar. Is he, is he a solid defenseman? Yes, he's a, he's a very good defenseman. He's a good young defenseman. He is not the star, the budding superstar that you would expect from a number five overall pick, though. And the fact that he just signed a deal for this length of time at such a low annual value leads me to believe that both maybe him and the team don't think he'll ever become that superstar that's going to be worth seven to eight million dollars a year because is he worth this right now yes but if he was expecting to blossom into something bigger and better this would be for two or three years not six and Hannafin is a guy that I saw a lot in college because being from Massachusetts, I watch a lot of college hockey, and I watch a lot of, of Hockey East, and Hannafin went to Boston College. And he never, I was always a little baffled by why he was thought of as such this great prospect, and thought of it, why he was thought put on this pedestal, and thought of as being this, you know, soup, this guy who's going to be a superstar in the NHL, because he never... He was very, very good in college. He was very, very good. He was solid, but he didn't jump off the screen. And if you're not jumping off the screen at that at the NCAA level, how are you going to jump off the screen at the NHL level and be that superstar player, that Drew Doughty, that Victor Hedman type player? You, you're not. And Hannafin in college didn't jump off the screen when I watched him. He was very solid. He rarely made a mistake. He was good in his own end as well as offensively. But he didn't jump off the screen as this elite defenseman. And, you know, I'm thinking now to someone who, who does jump off the screen and still is in college, and that's Kale McCarr at UMass Amherst. He's a Colorado Avalanche property, and when I watch UMass Amherst games, Kale McCarr jumps off the screen. He is a budding superstar, and you watch a UMass Amherst game, and overall, they're not a very good team. They have not been a good team in recent history, and they're not yet now, but they have an absolute stud in Kale McCarr, and when you watch them play, he is the best player on the ice all the time, and he jumps off the screen as, as that. Hannafin never jumped off the screen like that. And for a fifth overall pick, I think you want a guy that jumps off the screen. And what makes it even worse is to, taken right after Hannafin, the two defensemen taken after him at 7 and at 8 were Ivan Provorov and Zach Horensky. If you were giving me, you have Provorov, Wierenski and Hannafin, you're starting a franchise, pick them. I think I would pick Wierenski first, Provorov second, and Hannafin third. He is number three out of those three as far as I'm concerned right now. His career just, ha he hasn't become that star player. Provorov is a budding superstar in Philadelphia. Wierenski, I think he's already a superstar in Columbus. 
He is an electric player. Provorov is an electric player. Hannafin is not an electric player. He's a solid player. He's a very good player, but he doesn't jump off the screen. And he didn't jump off the screen in college, and he hasn't jumped off the screen in the NHL. He obvious, obviously, Carolina was comfortable trading him, even after him being only 21 and taking him fifth overall. They were comfortable trading him for Dougie Hamilton, basically. Um, what's his? I think his ceiling is not as high as people thought it was when he was going, you know, getting drafted. And now this contract, I think, proves that he thinks his ceiling isn't as high and the team thinks his ceiling isn't as high because he is getting paid less than $5 million per year for the next six years. He would not have signed a contract of this length if he thought he was going to become Victor Hedman or he thought he was going to become Aaron Eckblad or Drew Doughty or someone like that. He he wouldn't sign for this long. It wouldn't make any sense to. Is that what he's worth right now? Yeah, probably. But is he going to get better? Is he going to go up? Or is what he is right now what he is? He's only 21 years old. He's still developing. He absolutely has a chance to get better. But why would he sign for this long if he thought it was going to be drastically different you know, years from now? Because Star defensemen in this league, John Carlson, Victor Hedman's guys like that, make boatloads of money. They make seven, eight, nine million dollars per year. Drew Doughty, look at what he just got. Now, Drew Doughty is kind of an extreme example because he is, I think, one of the three best defensemen in the league. And you can't expect every you know high draft pick to become that good. John Carlson, I think, is a better example. Noah Hannafin could have become John Carlson. He is not even close to that level yet. And with this contract, maybe he's never going to get to that level. And maybe he knows that. Maybe the team knows that. So Hannafin, I think, is an interesting guy because of how highly touted he was when he was drafted and came into the league and how he has not lived up to that star defenseman level. And he hasn't become a star. And he doesn't even really look like a budding star. Like Charlie McAvoy in Boston, he's not a star defenseman, so to say, yet. But he is a budding star. You can see the greatness in him. He still makes mistakes. He's still a young guy. But you see the greatness in him. Hannafin, he looks like a very good defenseman. And it looks like that might be all he is. And... I think when you draft fifth overall, you want a little bit more than a very good defenseman. So, Hannafin's an interesting guy. Um, he's obviously going to be in Calgary for a long time now, but a contract like this proves to me that he might already be nearing his ceiling. And that is very, very different from what you would have expected you know, three years ago when he was drafted because this everyone absolutely thought this guy was going to be the next great two-way defenseman and he hasn't been that and he wasn't that for Carolina and he wasn't that enough for them to be comfortable trading him in a deal like that like they did and now Calgary's signing him long term at under 5 million a year maybe all he's ever going to be is a second pair defenseman that's what it looks like it could be so again, he's only 21. I don't mean to rag all over the guy. He's still a very good defenseman, but I don't think he's ever going to get to the level that it was once thought that he would. And that's basically my point. And I think this contract is very telling of that point because he would be signing a shorter deal at this money or if, it were, or if he thought he was going to get to that level, he would be making more than that per season. So... He's in Calgary now. We'll see what he does in a new uniform. Maybe a change of scenery will be really good for him. Who knows? Although Calgary has added a lot of Carolina Hurricanes this offseason, bringing in Derek Ryan, Lindholm, bringing the coach over, Bill Peters. It, it, they basically could become Carolina 2.0, which might not be a great thing for anyone involved there. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So Hannafin locked up with the Flames long term. 
surprised by the low dollar amount. Um, maybe he's reached his ceiling. We'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Obviously, him only being 21, he could still develop into something better than what he is. But, you know, let me know what you think. Because I think up to this point, he certainly has not become the defenseman that, we all, that a lot of experts and scouts thought he was going to. He's become very good. He has not become a star. So, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. Check out offthewallhockey.com. All those links are down in the description below. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.